OK, well, we knew birds were intelligent, but a team of international scientists have discovered they are more human-like than we thought. It's been proven cockatoos have been teaching each other unique skills, like opening rubbish bins to gather food. To tell us more, we're joined by Dr John Martin from Taronga Zoo. He's one of the lead researchers. He joins us now from Sydney. John, very good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Love the backdrop uh, to start with. Hey, so tell us what, what, prompted, what prompted this study? So it was a novel observation of cockatoos scavenging from bins and we were seeing them actually being able to open the bins themselves and that's quite uh, uh, an interesting behaviour in and of itself. And then when we looked a bit closer, uh, we learnt that this behaviour had been spreading across the landscape and we subsequently have learnt that the birds were teaching each other, so social learning. And then the real exciting part is that if we think about the behaviours and how they're opening the bins in neighbouring areas, they actually differed. And so that's a, an indication that in localised areas, they've developed specific foraging cultures, which is, uh, is quite interesting. Oh, right. So uh, how, how does this come about? I mean, we, we know kids learn from other kids and, and adults. So was it a surprise to see cockatoos doing this? So they're an intelligent bird and we know that parrots in general are, are quite intelligent, uh, much like the, the ravens and the crows, the, cor the corvids. Uh, so it wasn't a huge surprise, but it hadn't been shown in the wild. And so it was quite uh, fascinating to be able to demonstrate this. And, and I'll give you an analogy. So I'm in Sydney and we go to the pub and we order a schooner, whereas down in Victoria, uh, it's more often you're going to order a pot or a pint. And so that's an example of a local culture. So Melbourne's culture is pints, Sydney's culture is schooners. And so if we, if we think about the cockatoos having a different uh, culture of how they open the bins, that's quite a, uh, a, an interesting analogy of what we've learnt here. It's a great analogy, John. So I, I'm fascinated by the, the neighbourhood differences here uh, with, with different cockatoos. So it, just, it comes down to different techniques of getting those wheelie bins open. Uh, suburb by suburb, neighbourhood by neighbourhood. Yeah, and who you've learnt from. And so hence, you know, you've learnt from your friends and family in your local community to do something. And here we're seeing the cockatoos are doing a similar thing. And it's, we're talking about on quite a small scale. It can be only sort of 5, 10, 15 kilometres apart uh, where we've got these quite unique and distinct behaviours, which is quite uh, fascinating. It is. So how are you hoping to use uh, what you've learned from this study, uh, John, uh, going forward? Yeah, this is actually a real eye-opener. And the, the important thing here is that we're learning more about how animals are learning and that uh, we humans are actually perhaps not as special as we think. You know, uh, there are other animals out there that uh, show similar behaviours to us uh, and similar cultures. And so that helps us to uh, think about further investigations and, and understanding how species are learning and how information is shared is actually quite a, a sort of cutting edge area of, of research. I've never thought as much about cockatoos uh, than I did this morning reading up on this and I'm fascinated by uh, the words of one of your co-researchers here, Richard Major, John from the Australian Museum. Richard says, cockatoos are in your face winners with attitude, full of life, humour and mischief, but always showing keen intelligence, natural curiosity and proven Adaptability. I, I'll never look at a cockatoo the same way again. And have you, next time you see them, look at them playing. This is the real fun part. They're actually, they're absolute characters. And so if you've seen them hanging upside down on power lines and they're flapping their wings and they're, they're throwing their crest, uh, you know, they're actually just having fun. This is literally like watching some kids running around in the park kicking a ball. Uh, other things, if you just watch them foraging, you'll see that they've actually got a lot of de attention to detail. They'll be picking foods up, they'll be adjusting it in their foot, they'll be manipulating it with their beak and their tongue. So they're actually uh, quite skilled in how they're foraging and they're, we're learning a lot about them with the community's help. And so we have a, a citizen science project where people can report sightings using the Big City Birds app or website across Australia. And it's we encourage people to report new bird behaviours. I'll be now an astute cockatoo observer thanks to this and thanks to the fabulous conversation we just had. Dr John Martin, thank you. Have a great day. You too.